Uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to show you how to set up a site to update your portfolio and I'm going to then split this into a couple of different videos so they don't take so long to watch. So to start with, here's the idea. You probably have up on the Cornish uh, server a portfolio version that's not thoroughly linked up to all your working files. Now out here on the desktop I've just collected a bunch of stuff and I've been telling you for a while now, a few weeks, to hang on to your work and eventually we'd figure out how to get it all uploaded to the portfolio. So I've gathered this stuff together. Now some of these are files that we would have worked on during class. A couple of them, just for examples, are homework in here. So the first idea is I'm going to make a folder right here on the desktop that I'm going to combine these all together into. So I happen to be on a PC here, and uh, but it's the, it's the same on PC and Mac. If you right click on the desktop, you'll find some way to make a new folder. So I'm going to make a new folder, and I'll call it Portfolio. And then I'm just going to scoop up all these folders. Now I'm just going to basically drag across this part of the desktop to select them all and just pull them all inside. See? There they are. Now I already have Dreamweaver rolling here, so let me go ahead and uh, start that up. And I'll define a site that uses that uh, desktop folder called Portfolio that I just created. So, site, new site. I don't much care what we call it, I'll call it port. And I'm going to browse my way. I guess I've got one by that name already, so that's out. I'll just put a little number two on there and that should make it okay. Uh, and I'll browse out to the desktop and I'll find the folder that I was just showing you. So there it is, Portfolio. And I'm going to open it up. And as usual, when I see that name up at the top there, that's the, that's the way I want it. I'm going to hit Select. Now, I've got half the equation put together at this point. The other part, of course, is publishing. Uh, so I've got to set up my server. So I've clicked on servers over to the left, and I'm going to click this little plus sign, add new server. As usual, I don't care much about the name. And the FTP address, of course, is just cornishstudents.com. The username is, you know, whatever your little initial combo was there. So please don't use the one I'm about to use. Prof at Cornish students and of course I didn't spell that right students.com and everybody's got the same password which I won't say in a YouTube video but you remember the drill so all right and let's see if I actually managed to get this right. I'll hit test. And it's giving me a thumbs up. So Dreamweaver connected to the web server successfully. All right, then we go through some saving, right? So here's save, and again, save. And if it happens to line up with a folder from some other defined site, then, you know, it'll, it'll warn you about this, but this is not something we're worried about. So I'm going to hit OK. And there we are. So at this point, I have a site with a lot of folders inside of it. And again, these are all the project folders and homework folders from the things we've worked on in our time together. So, uh, rather, it's not all of them, but it's a bunch of them. So, I'm going to end this video here for the moment, and I'll come back with a new one where we pick up and get into the editing process.